this is the day that the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. That is a beautiful day, a day in which God made. Shalom, my brothers and sisters. Good morning and good evening to you all around the world. Out in this beautiful weather today, the spring-like weather, it's not quite spring yet, but it's getting close. And it's just a beautiful day. You can hear all the workings that are going on right now. Let's see what the Lord has to say. Today, let's read in Psalm 49, starting in verse 1. Hear this, all peoples. Give ear, all inhabitants of the world, both low and high, rich and poor. My mouth shall speak wisdom. Why should I fear in the days of evil, when the iniquity at my heels surround me? Those who trust in their wealth and boast in the multitude of their riches, none of them can by any means redeem his brother nor give to God a ransom for him. For the redemption of their souls is costly, and it shall cease forever. For he sees wise men die. Likewise, the fool and the senseless person perish and leave their wealth to others. Their inner thought is that their house will last forever. This is the way of those who are foolish. But God will redeem my soul from the power of the grave, for he shall receive me. Do not be afraid when one becomes rich, for when he dies he shall carry nothing away. His glory shall not descend after him. You know, Jesus once said, what profits the man if he gains the whole world and loses his soul? What profits you if you gain everything you ever wanted in the earth and you lose it all because you were not focused on the one who blessed you, who gave you the means to be a blessing to everyone around you. Jesus once said that it was easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of God. You know, we have to enter into the gate narrowly because it is a broad path that leads to our destruction if we let it. Psalm 50 says, the mighty one, God, the Lord has spoken and called the earth from the rising of the sun to the going down. He shall call to the heavens from above and to the earth that he may judge his people. Gather my saints together to me, those who have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. Let the heavens declare righteousness, for God himself is judge. For every beast is of the forest is mine, and the cattle on a thousand hills. For the word is mine, and all the fullness. Will I eat the flesh of bulls, or drink the blood of goats? Offer to God thanksgiving, and pay your vows to the Most High. Call upon me in the day of trouble, and I will deliver you. Amen. God has no use for sacrifices or the blood of bulls or goats. God wishes us to have a heart for him, to love him, to have a relationship with him. He wishes that we worship him in spirit and in truth. God bless you, my brothers and sisters.